Hey everybody, welcome back to another Wild Archaeology VR experience. Today we are in Seashelt, British Columbia, and we're on a defensive site. So this specific location was picked for a strategic purpose. Over on this side, there's a beach, and that beach was difficult to get into with canoes and stuff, so they're kind of protected on this area. Right over in this area, there's giant cliffs that drop off over here, and on the other side, there's a, it's really rocky and difficult to get into as well. So it's not easy access during a time of war. Right up here on top of this hill, this was where the chief lived. And he chose this location for a couple reasons. One, he had a really good vantage point that he could see everybody that was coming. And if they did get attacked, uh, this would have been the last area that they were able to get to. So he's protected from attacks more so than other areas. And where we're digging and excavating right now is right down here. You can see a hole. This is what we call a midden, which in, I guess, today's terms, which is really just a dump. So when they ate, they finished their food. They had all their shells and, and everything in a basket because they ate a lot of clams and mussels and things like that. They would bring all those down here in a basket and dump them down here. And that is what we're excavating. We're actually excavating a midden or excavating a garbage site. So now we're going to jump in the hole. I'll show you what we're seeing in there. <sighs> okay, so this is the unit I'm working in, which they're calling Unit B, the refuse mid midden, as I mentioned before. And I'm working my way down this part here. But what I want to show you guys is, is kind of in the walls. If you look right up here, into this area, you'll start to see some shells and stuff in here. But the further you go down, you'll start to notice that there's actually layers. And what the layers are is just different times when people were actually just dumping shells into the garbage dump. And of course, the top is far younger, and the further you go down, the older they are. And I, what I think is cool, when you get way down here, this layer here in the bottom is a very old layer, but it's really, really clear. And one thing that you're gonna notice is that some of these shells are really whole shells, like this, right? They're really whole shells all in here. And the reason they're whole is because after they ate them, they dumped them here, but nobody was walking on the site. Because there's a garbage dump, nobody really walk, wants to walk around on the garbage dump. So everything is really loose and that means digging through here is like super easy and you find whole shells like this. In fact, a little while ago, I actually found a part of a harpoon, which was pretty neat. What all the shells also tell us is when they lived here, a big chunk of their diet was mussels, clams, and other different kinds of shellfish. And that's what they're eating a lot of here. And um, right now, I gotta get back to work and get some more material for Allie to go through. And I gotta work my way down to try get this as far down as I can to the bottom of this, which is, it's gonna be like six or seven feet deep by the end. And so I have a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna get back to work. And I'll see you all in another episode of our Wild Archaeology VR sessions. All right. Take care. Peace out.